Nessa girl, the people is mad with Brian McKnight, honey. They want to know how could he, okay? And I want to know how could he too, because I thought the bitch was a sissy. Want to talk about it? Here it go. Nessa girl, it's Friday morning about 10.23 and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. And I can't believe y'all got me on the line calling y'all about this R&B crooning sissy. Child, I thought he was one of the children. Not that he had four children, honey. But the people say, Brian Sissy McKnight, <laughs> allegedly, honey, is estranged from his children. He estranged from them damn children because he ain't never want them. He is one of the children. That's what y'all don't understand. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all may not want to believe me, but more times than not, when these black men go out there and get these white women, it's because they be sissies. And them white women ain't going to ask the same questions or demand the level of masculinity and sometimes toxic masculinity um, that the black women require. All right. God, God rest his soul. I mean, not God. Oh, Lord, I don't put the man in the grave already. But, child, the people say that's why Jamie Foxx ran his ass over there to Katie Holmes. And it ain't got nothing to do with him being in the hospital. I'm just telling y'all what the people said, okay? Cause if the, but this ain't about Jamie Foxx. We're going to send up a prayer for him. But, girl, the internet has been set ablaze because Brian McKnight is estranged from his children. And he seems to be praising his stepchildren that three, he, he married this white woman. She got three kids from a prior relationship. And plus he just had a baby with her calling that baby the reason why he is now a girl dad. When in all actuality, he has another daughter from a previous relationship named Brianna that has made him a girl dad. Also in the prior to 2020, Brian McKnight children have spoken out about them being estranged, how he's not involved in their lives, how he's not involved in their grandchildren's lives, and that this just looks really bad. When you look at his Instagram page, he seems to be praising his children and stepchildren with this white woman, but completely scrubbed his page up or never posted any pictures of his other children. Now, here's the gag, right? Um, rather it's a race thing or not, I can't answer that. I'm not in his head, I'm not in his heart. That's where a lot of people want to go with this thing. Oh, he praising his white children, some of which ain't even his, but doesn't claim his black children. Now, I'm going to tell you what bothers me, period. I wouldn't give a good goddamn if his children with that woman were yellow, brown, or purple. Um, I have an issue when you prioritize another man's biological children over your own. Um, estranged from those children or not, I still think as a father, you have an earthly responsibility to protect them in some regard. And at a minimum, if you're not going to protect them, then do not hurt them. All right. With that being said, I think that your relationship outward should be neutral with that lady's other children. If you're not going to adorn your biological children the same way. At a minimum, watch out for statements like you made me a girl, dad. Those things are extremely offensive when you already have children and you've been a girl dad for two, over two decades. Um, what all of this suggests to me, honestly and truthfully, is that Brian McKnight is not now, nor has he ever been bonded with those children. Um, you don't treat children like this that you are bonded with and Brian in the past has cited entitlement as one of the issues that causes him to be estranged from his children and then he also did the lazy black man thing which scream out I have never missed child support a day in my life I always pay my child support and I wish that men and I'm gonna talk to black men in particular I'm talking to my people I don't care about them other men's I wish men but black men in particular would stop thinking they doing something by paying child support 
That's the bare fucking minimum. You get absolutely no credit whatsoever for paying child support. You made the children. They didn't ask to be here. You want to be praised for doing the bare minimum? Who else is supposed to take care of them? So you don't get a pat on the back or a cookie for paying child support. And I want to tell you why it's even worse for somebody of Brian McKnight's uh, level of status or stature. The everyday working father, the average father, the bus driver that Ebony K. Williams don't want, the garbage man, the man that works the nine to five office job. You know what I'm saying? When those seven hundred, eight hundred, eleven hundred dollars are coming out of his account every month. That man feels it. He has to adjust. He has to modify his living standards in order to, to, to pay that money. And granted, he doesn't get praised for doing that. Parents make sacrifices. But for somebody like Brian McKnight, writing that check is drops of water in the ocean. It's nothing for you to cut that check. So you really don't get no credit for parenting via a direct deposit. Now, I was listening to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show this morning. Gary with the T was doing the report. And the brat said something that was profound. She said, there's three sides to every... Well, she said there's two sides to every story. And then Gary came in and said there's three. His side, their side, and the truth. And I am willing to admit that. Um, here's the thing, right? I will put a portion of the blame on those children... Post them becoming an adult, right? But the fact that there's a lack of bond between Brian and those children proves that there was something absent when they were children and adolescents. And for that, the parents are 100% responsible for that. You are 100% responsible for the relationship if they're children. Post adulthood. Some responsibility, some of the burden lies on them to reach out, get the proper therapy, open communications. But anything prior to adulthood, the parent is 100% responsible for. And I just don't understand how you give a child your name, Brian McKnight Jr., you have your first daughter, and then you're able to just navigate the world so haphazardly as if these children don't exist, have no desire, you're shading them. Um, and... By no means am I blaming the wives, the mom, the, 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 the previous partners, but I would be curious to know what role they play in this and what role the estrangement has as it relates to the breakup in the relationship. Because you got some men out there that'll do that and it don't make it right. But you got some men out there that be so upset with that woman or sometimes that woman can put so much stress on that man that in order to not deal with her ass, he say, fuck them kids too. And it don't make it right. And by no means am I blaming the woman. I'm just throwing out all the scenarios that sometimes create these situations. But this is a bad look for Brian McKnight. I think the only thing that works in Brian McKnight's favor is that we really don't give a fuck about Brian McKnight. You know, he was on and popping when he was on the league. Yang, 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 around the 90s, in the early 2000s. Um, Brian McKnight has been off the scene for so long that we really don't care. So I don't think that Brian is going to receive a lot of backlash from the black community because we really don't care. Not to mention Brian McKnight has been off his rocker for a long time. When he got on the internet and started singing them vulgar songs or whatever the case may be, trying to be funny and it wasn't funny, his ass needed to go back at one because we never felt this way about him. And instead of giving us crazy love, the bitch was just giving us crazy and for that, you know what I'm saying? I guess the people are like, eh, but I just hate that after all this time of being out of the media, you're not currently in the media for music. It's for some mess. And then you just settled out of court with your daughter because you made incestuous claims that she had a sexual relationship with one of her cousins and she sued your ass for defamation and you settled outside of court. I don't give a good goddamn what people say. When folks settle, it's because they wrong. Because there's no way in hell I'm giving a bitch my money and I'm in the right. You settled, which is going to cause even further estrangement from this children. And, 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 and every, every chicken comes home to roost. Brian, this is not cute. It looks bad. And Miss Iyana Van Zandt, I know, mama, you had to leave that show alone because 
You said you it was messing with your mental dealing with all them crazy people. But mama, every now and again, you're gonna have to pop back out on Oprah channel, mama, and fix some of these situations. Maybe you stop dealing with the regular people, and every now and again you come in and do a little celebrity situation because we need you, Iyanla. Tamika Latasha and um Deaconess Wig, they need you. Escape. It, it versus SWV need you. Now Brian McKnight and these estranged children need you. We need you, Voodoo Priestess Von Zant. We need you. You know, y'all, as it relates to Brian McKnight, I really don't know what else is left out there to say other than you giving deadbeat. Um, there's just no way in hell that I could have that many children circulating out there and be estranged with every single last one of them. That's on you, Brian. And one of them got a different mama from the other one. So you mean to tell me each household, you got an issue with each? Nah, bitch, that's you. I can understand one, like Kirk Franklin and Carry On. If you have four, five, six, three multiple kids, odds are one of them going to be fucked up. Y'all laughing. Shake your head, Nessa girl. You got one fucked up child. If you got three kids or more, odds are one of them going to be fucked up, right? You know one of y'all got an old retarded acting ass child that, that you just got to pray for and say bless their heart. But when you estranged from all your children and they got different mamas, different households, different circumstances, different scenarios. Nah, Negro, that's you. And then you want to run over there and mess around with that white woman. Now, I'm going to tell you what you do now. I'm going to tell you what you do, Brian. After she get through running your ass through the ringer, because they always do. And she get through suing your ass and taking all your money. Don't you run your ass back over here. Uh-uh. Stay over there. Don't you try to hop on the affordable old school concert with Drew Hill and Stephanie Mills and try to come over here and get this blight $25 because you got to make payments. We not paying that bitch. No, my goddamn money. We not paying her ass. All right? You want to circulate your dollar in the white community? You stay your ass over there in the white community. Okay? That's all I got, y'all. Ain't got no more. Y'all hoes, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll call y'all later. Bye.